Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel! So for today's video we're going to DIY some really fun and easy spring decor for the season and I think this is a great time to clean and refresh your space so if you want to see all the projects make sure to stay tuned for the rest of the video and give it a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more home decor and DIY projects and let's get started! In the first DIY, I created a minimalistic spring wreath to go on our door. I picked up a wood wreath ring, some wooden beads and full flowers from Michaels for this project. I started by separating the two largest sizes of wooden beads from the variety pack. Then I used my hot glue to attach them to the wooden ring. I repeated this process until I had about three quarters of the frame covered with the beads since I was going for a more clean and simple look. Next, I cut some pieces of faux flowers and leaves from the bunch that I had. I chose to go with white and blush pink flowers to really bring the spring vibes to the wreath. I arranged the leaves and flowers together a few times until I was happy with it. After that, I used my hot glue to first glue the leaves and then the flowers on top. I made sure to hold down each piece for a few seconds until it was secure in place. In the last step, I used some macrame cord to hang this from our door. I really love how this wreath came out. I think the minimalistic look of the wooden beads really highlights the spring flowers and colors. For the second project, I created two abstract canvas paintings to switch up the art in our apartment. I think that in general, this is a very great and inexpensive way to refresh your space. I used two 8x10 canvases and prepped them by covering both with a nice coat of white paint. This just helps so the next layers of paint glide more smoothly on the canvas, but you can skip this step if you want to. Next, I mix in a pastel green and a bright yellow color, again trying to bring in the spring colors for this DIY. Then I use small paint brushes and basically outline random blob shapes on the canvases. Once I had the outline down, I went ahead and painted inside the blobs and let them dry for about an hour. Once these were dry, I created two new colors, a darker green and a golden orange. Then I went ahead and drew two more blob shapes. I slightly overlapped these new shapes with the previous ones to give it a little more interest. Then again, I let these dry for an hour. In the meantime, I found two abstract outlines on Pinterest, one of a leaf and another of a flower. I went ahead and printed them out and used my X-Acto knife to cut them out. Once my canvas paintings were dry, I used a pencil to trace out each shape on one of the canvases. Then I used my black marker to go over the traced out abstract shapes. I took my time with this part to make sure I have clean lines. 
I moved my canvas around a lot so that it was in a position that enabled me to draw the lines easier. I repeated this process with both the leaf and the flower and that concludes this DIY spring art. They were so easy to create and I think they look really professional or maybe something that you would buy on Etsy. Don't forget to change the colors and the abstract outlines to what you like and customize the art for your own space. I created spring flower arrangements for the third DIY. I bought a small metal plant pot from the dollar store and I used faux flowers for this project as well. I started by removing the jute rope that was glued to the top portion of the pot. I didn't like the darker color of it for this project since I wanted to keep all the colors bright and pastel. Then I used some 220 grit sandpaper to rough up the surface of the pot. Next, I mix in a very pretty pastel blue color and I added some baking soda to it to add texture. Then I used a bigger paintbrush to coat the surface of the plant pot. I let it dry for about half an hour and gave it a second coat to make sure the blue acrylic color is opaque and nice throughout. I let the piece dry completely after that. While I was waiting for it to dry, I cut a piece of floral foam with my box cutter down to size so it fits perfectly in the pot. Then I used some faux flowers and created an arrangement by sticking the stems into the foam. I used white, yellow and blush pink flowers along with some green leaves. I played around with the placement of each piece until I liked how it looked. For the last step, I hot glued some macrame cord to the top portion of the plant pot where the darker jute rope was in the beginning. I liked the brighter color and added texture that the macrame cord brought to the piece. That's it for this DIY and I think it came out really cute. It was super easy to create and you can make your own arrangement with all your favorite colors for spring. For the last project, I created four clay marble coasters. You guys know I'm obsessed with polymer clay, but honestly, it's such a great material for DIYs. You can make so many different things with it. Anyways, I started by kneading and warming up my clay first. I used a good amount of white clay along with some yellow and green. Then I rolled out each color into a cylinder shape and then twisted the white and the green clay together a few times to get that marble effect. I have another video that I'll link for you guys where I explain this process more in depth if you want to go check it out. Then I used my rolling pin and rolled out the clay slab until it was about a quarter of an inch thick. I used a coffee mug to trace and cut out two circle shapes out of the clay with my X-Acto knife. Next, I used a toothpick to create small holes around the edges of each circle. I repeated the exact same process with some white and yellow clay as well. I then baked all four coasters in the oven according to the instructions. Once they were done baking, I let them cool down completely for a few hours. Hey. 
After that, I used 220 sandpaper to lightly sand and smooth the edges of each piece. Next, I threaded some thin jute rope through the holes that I had created beforehand just to give the coaster some interest. I created a knot at the end and that was it for this last project. I chose two different colors for the coasters so that they're more fun and playful. But you can totally choose one color if you want to. Again, personalize it to your own taste. I'm really happy with how these turned out and I love switching out small things around our apartment with the season to make it feel more festive. I hope that you guys enjoyed these spring decor DIYs and try some of the projects for this season. As always, thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you in my next video.